Hello and welcome to uh, this tutorial. First of all, uh, thanks a lot for to buy the project. And then uh, in the project when you open, you have the assets where you we get uh, this uh, 10 paint splatter, real paint splatter that I, I filmed myself. You get a folder for the pictures or videos. Here now you have the Revstock logo that I use for to render the example. And you get also a video it's a pre-render transition with the paint splatters. It's PNG format. Okay, then uh, we have the composition for chain folder where you can find uh, the composition for to uh, write your text and also put your logo. And here where you can put your uh, pictures or videos. And then we have the composition for render. Now you have only one. It's, uh, uh, you can see here only one, 1080, full HD composition, but you will have in the project 720p also, HDV and normal DV format uh, 724, uh, 480. Then after you have this composition, no change. It's only a uh, composition I use for to create the whole structure. And that's it. That's what you get. The next tutorial, I will explain you how to change uh, your text, uh, put your pictures or videos, and change all the color of this uh, project. Uh, how we can change uh, the text and put our pictures and videos and, and our logo too? And here in composition for change, uh, we go to uh, first the text. You now we have uh, intro text, second intro text, one, two, three, four text, and the text and logo, this is the end. Then we go to the intro text, for example, and we have here, let's change one moment, background, we have our text, then the only thing that we have to, to do is uh, double click, and write your text, and then double click the second one, intro, here. And if we go to the final composition, write your text into here. You do the same with the alts, as the second intro text. And double click and uh, write your second. And here in the second one too, double click, intro text. And if we go to the composition, to the second, write your second intro text here. And then uh, you do this with alls. For example, if you want uh, this, uh, that you can write your text and your logo, I will, you double click only in a text, for example, to write your address. Uh, let's talk. You want to do with the rebel stock and then replace the logo, the image logo that we have the, that you we have there is this one. By the way, you see you make it in the good size. And if we go to the final comp, you will see it's our logo there with the address that we write. And then for to uh, put your pictures and videos, you have in the picture one, you have nothing. You will have, uh, of course, you will get this. Something that say this, for example, your pic or video three here. But uh, let's go to the one, let's choose, I have one image, mine, you put your image there, resize it, and collocate it in your desired position, for example there, and if I go to my first, you see, it's my, <coughs> my image is there, also you have uh, here, the possibility to write a title, then this is a picture one, then it's a text one, 
And you do the same like with the intro text and all, uh, and the second intro text, you double click on the layer and write, oops, sorry, write your text for pick or video one. And when we go to the final comp, write your text for pick or video one. And you can do the same with all these four. And then after you do all this and you change all your, you put all your pics, uh, pics and videos and uh, you change the text, you can change the color. You come to uh, Colorful composition for to do the final composition, and you have uh, a layer here. You see uh, a general color correction. You click on the layer, and you come to the menu uh, windows, and click on Effect Controls General Color Correction, and then you will see that disappear. Uh, here you will find. Um, the control for uh, the vignette transparency, the control for uh, the color of the line 1 of the text, the color for the line 2 of the text, and uh, the four colors for the background. The background is a gradient background. I will explain you now how to change everything. The vignette. Now I have a value uh, 50. This value, of course, is the transparency of the vignette. Uh, they will go between 0 and 100. Then, for example, I will put 0. You see, it's nothing. There is not a, a vignette anymore. How we can see this? If I put 100. As you see, there is a difference. Uh, I like it in 50, but I will leave it like this. It's there, but it's not there. <laughs> and then you have, you can change the color of your text. For example, I want my text um, green. I want both text greens. Then I choose the green in my first one. Only click on the color and choose your color. And if I want the second one, the same. I can. I only need to pick this and click on the color. And then I have both texts with the same color. Mm, then if I want to change the background color, you know you have these four colors. This one is for the first zone, uh, upper uh, left zone, upper right, down left, and down right. And then for example, now we have this, then I want uh, something like more red, the same procedure, click, choose your color, then click, choose your color, and then maybe this more uh, yellow style, for example. And then if I want this diagonal style, I made the same. If you see, it doesn't look so bad, maybe we change a little bit the green one. A little bit darker, and if we go to 100, see, very nice. Yeah, that's it. That's everything that you need to know for to change the color of the project and everything else. I hope uh, you will achieve everything or everything that you need with this project and let me know if you need some help. Thanks again for to buy the project and have fun! Okay, uh, first is that uh, uh, all the process for to change, the for to put your pictures and videos and change the text is the same as uh, we saw in the two videos before. Um, the only thing that changes is that you have now more text to write, 12, 
plus uh, the intro, the second intro, and the end text with the logo, and you have 12 pictures also, or videos. And the other change is uh, that you have then in composition for render uh, four folders. The first one is three resolution composition with four placeholders. We saw one, two, three, four. The other one with H play holders. For example, this one for one, two, plus on the eight. And composition 12 placeholders, of course, with the possibility of 12 uh, pictures and videos and 12 text. In each folder, you will find the three resolutions for render, the same as uh, we saw in the, in the first tutorial. That's it. I hope uh, you will enjoy this update. It gives you more possibilities, for sure. Ciao.